Ever wonder what this barge is doing in the lagoon? Well, it's part of the routine maintenance that takes place every two years to dredge the outer basin of the Agua Hedionda Lagoon. And the sand that's collected is put to good use. The power plant has to do maintenance dredging of the outer basin of the lagoon. That's to ensure that there's enough cooling waters that'll reach the gas-powered turbines within the power uh, plant itself. This project essentially provides a white sandy beach for all those that come visit the Carlsbad beaches during the summer. So there is no cost to the residents of Carlsbad for the beautiful sand. Work typically takes place during the off season to minimize the inconvenience to beachgoers and effects on local habitat. Regular lagoon dredging started back in 1954. What we see out here is a dredge vessel that uh, has an arm that sucks up the sand from the bottom of the lagoon, pumps it through a hydraulic system out to pipes. The end result is sand actually then reaches our beaches. After about 15, 20 minutes, that brown mud mixture dries out, and the end result with no time is beautiful white sand on our beaches. The city of Carlsbad urges the public to be careful around the equipment and to pay attention to signs. During the project, pedestrians can still access the walking paths near the seawall. In Southern California, we have a uh, lack of sand, and so our beaches erode. And if we look at this area specifically, sand is going into the lagoon, and every two years they put it back on the beach from where it came from. So they're replicating nature. And when the dredging is done, there will be half a million cubic feet of fresh sand on this Carlsbad beach just in time for summer. For more information about the Agua Hedionda Lagoon Dredging Project or Carlsbad Beaches, visit the city's website.